I'm assuming you clicked on this video because you are interested in a carry-on from Soulguard, but you've gone to the website and realized there's the carry-on and the carry-on light. Which one should I get and what are all the differences? Obviously the carry-on light is a little bit lighter in weight and it's less expensive. But is that the right bag for you? Today we're going to go over all of the differences and similarities so that I can help you make the right decision. Not only are the suitcases themselves different inside and out, but the carry-on closets themselves, the little shelving unit that it comes with, they are very different in both models as well. So of course I am going to do a packing example using identical items in each of the closets and then pack the bags so that you can see which one really works best. I did recently put out a video about Soulguard luggage, just telling you a couple of important things to really think about before you make your purchase. So I do recommend watching that one as well as watching this one to really help make your decision. I am gonna let you guys know that these bags are absolutely wonderful, but the carry-on closet isn't always for everyone. Travelers have the packing technique that they love, including me, and that's what I teach here on this channel. So the Solar Carrying Closet is a little bit different for me, but there are times I'm really determined to make it work because there's a lot of travelers out there that absolutely love the closet. So I'm really excited today to use the light version to see what the differences really are. In case you're new here, I'm Lauren Kelly from It's the Kellys, and I travel often and pack well. I have now been to 97 countries and all seven continents and I've done it in a carry-on bag. So now I have this channel where I review travel essentials, compare different items to help you make a decision, and then I also do packing videos, show you my travels, unpack to show you what I learned from my trips, and give all sorts of general tips and advice. So if that sounds like something that you want, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. And then let me know in the comments where you're traveling to next. So let's start by introducing the bags. This right here is the original carry-on closet in the medium size. And this color is Provence Purple. And then this one is the carry-on closet light in the medium size, and this is the color Pacific Blue. They look pretty similar, don't they? At least from this angle. So the first big difference is going to be how you open the suitcases. And when I turn them around here, you can see the differences on the side. The original one right here has these latches, meaning it is zipperless luggage, which a lot of people love. So that means it has this aluminum frame here and these little spots where you just press them in to open it like that and then that's how you open it and pack your stuff. Then you can see on this bag here, it is your traditional zippered opening, just like your standard luggage. So the next big difference that I wanna talk about is price because that is a huge factor for a lot of people. The original bag in the medium size is $275 and then there is a larger size carry-on that you can get for $295. And then the light here is less expensive. This one is the medium size and you can get it for $225 or you can get the larger carry-on size for $245. And then let's just state the obvious, the carry-on light is going to be lighter in weight. The original carry-on medium, when I weighed it in my last video, it actually weighed in at 9.14 pounds when it was completely empty. It didn't even have the closet inside, which is a lot more than what it states on the website. And then let's go ahead and weigh this one right now in person so that we can see exactly how much this one weighs. It is weighing in at 7.14 pounds, which means this one is exactly two pounds lighter than this one. And having a lighter weight bag can make all the difference. At the end of the video, we will be packing these bags and I will weigh them once packed. And then we can really see the difference in weight then. 
So let's go over the exterior features that are a little bit different. On the original carry-on, you can see that they do have these metal bumpers in all four corners. And that's something that a lot of bags have these days, especially when we're dealing with a hybrid trunk situation. So that's going to make the bag heavier, but it is going to protect the corners. And then you'll see on this bag, it has what looks like there's bumpers, but they're not metal or anything like that. It's still the polycarbonate shell, but it does just come out a little bit further. It's gonna keep your bag lightweight, but presumably protect these corners. And then the only other difference on the exterior of these bags are the side handles. The original one does have this a little bit more of a bulky handle here. You can actually bring it over and then it has a slow release and I really do like that feature. When we look on this side, you just have your typical rubbery plastic handle. However, every other exterior detail is the same, and I'm gonna go over those real quick. This handle that I just showed you on the side, they do have one on the top as well on the light version, and then this version has the exact same handle too. On the opposite side of where the bag opens, you do have four plastic feet so that when you want to set your bag down, it rests on the feet. The front of the bags have this great ribbed design here, as well as the Soulguard logo right in the front. And on the back here, you do have this design and a lot of people think this is where the handle is, but it's not. The handle is a lot slimmer than that. Now, speaking of the telescopic handle, it does have a button on top and it is this motorcycle in inspired handle is what they call it. And it's round and has just a really nice texture to it. The handles have two different heights that you can roll the bag with depending on your size. And then underneath the handle on both bags, you do have a spot that opens up with a USB-C and a USB-A port so that you can charge your things on the go. And when I open up the bags, I will show you how you can set that up in the inside. This bag does not come with a portable charger, which I do really like. You can buy that separately, but I always recommend just to bring your own favorite one. They both have the same great 360 degree wheels. They both have TSA locks, which is very important to keep all of your items safe. This one has one TSA lock combination, press these and it opens. And then this one, same thing. You set your code, press this button and it unlocks. And then just because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask, there is no bottom handle. Now I do like on these bags that obviously they have some black details when it comes to the feet or the handles or the locks. But I do like that, for example, the aluminum frame on this one is purple and therefore color matched. And I do like that on this one, the zipper is blue and therefore color matched. They have a little bit of contrast, but not too much. Now that I've showed you all of the details on the outside of the bag, what I want to do is show you guys the inside because they are different. And then once I do that, we'll start talking about the different closets that come with the bags. So the first thing that I want to talk about with these bags is the fact that this one has that aluminum frame and this one does not. You've got this going all the way around and there isn't any flex whatsoever. So when you see what happens when I'm pressing down on this one versus what happens when I press down on this one, that could be a personal preference. And when I'm packing it, I'm probably going to like this one a little bit better. So this is the inside of the bag and you guys, this is the Shortex lining, which is 100% recycled and I do really love that. So the side I'm holding up here is the side that the closet is supposed to belong in. So they're identical on both sides and you're going to have a zippered mesh pocket on this side and a zippered mesh pocket in this side. It comes with this cord so that you can put your portable charger in here attach it to this cord, and that is what's going to charge your device from the outside of the bag. Turning the bags to the other side, they both have a zippered closure. They both have the mesh opening right here to make everything be able to breathe, but this one is a lot more loose. There's a lot more fabric, and this one is a lot more taut. 
once you open up this side, this one has two elastic little slip pockets that a lot of people use for shoes. And then on this side, it doesn't have that. It is just plain, which I actually do prefer. And that is inside of the bags. Now let's get to the important part of this video, which is talking about the closet. And for this part of the video, we have to go to the packing studio. So this is the closet that comes in the original version. You can see that it is actually skinny and long. And then you can either hang this from the handle or you can hang this in the closet at your accommodation. So what I did is packed this one and the closet of the light version, which is very different with the exact same item. So I'm gonna show you how they fit in this one and then I'm going to show you how they fit in the other one and then we are going to pack them both. The closet itself is 37 inches long, but will hang to about 42 when hanging on an actual closet rod. The width of it is just about nine inches, and then the depth of it is about six. So one of the things you have to think about with this closet is when you are rolling or folding your items, they need to be rolled or folded to be able to fit in the shelf. Also, these cannot be fully, fully packed. They are best used when 60 to 70% full. And you guys, everything I'm packing in these bags are plus size and are identical items. They might just be different colors, but I really chose items that I have in multiple colors to specifically show you how they're going to fit side by side. So in this top little portion here, I do have five pairs of underwear and two pairs of ankle socks. Here I have three t-shirts. In this zippered compartment, I do have one really heavy pair of jeans and then one lighter weight pair of pants. Down in this other zippered compartment, I do have a knee length skirt and a longer dress. And then this bottom compartment does have dividers. So I do have two tank tops right here, another tank top right here, and a 2X white t-shirt down here. So I'm going to put this into the suitcase in just a few moments, but what I wanna do first is show you the identical items in the other carry-on closet that belongs in the light version. So here we have the closet that comes in the carry-on light. And as you can tell, this one is so different from the one I just showed you. It is wider and shorter and some people might like that better. The length of the actual closet is 17. The width is just over 15 and the depth is 10. And this one has a couple cool features too. So you can see that we have the same three t-shirts and then I have these same three tank tops that I had in that bottom compartment as well as that white t-shirt. On this shelf here, I have that knee length skirt and that longer dress. And then this one here, I have that same pair of size 20 jeans and that same pair of lightweight pants. And then you actually have this bottom zippered compartment here, which looking at it has a lot of extra room. So I still fit in those two pairs of socks and those five pairs of underwear. And then on the top here, you do have these little mesh elastic slip pockets so that maybe you can slip some extra things in here if you need to. Now it also has the same way of attaching it to your luggage handle right here or of course it does have two hooks because this is wider and it just works better if it's really stable on both sides. So what I'm noticing just as I'm packing the identical items is that I do have a little bit more room in here. I could probably pack an additional one of these and an additional one of these and then can probably pack more in here. It just fits more in my opinion. However, we haven't put this in the suitcase yet. So let's do that and we'll put the other one in that suitcase as well just to see how it fits. The idea of the closets, absolutely amazing and innovative but it's how they fit in the luggage that really kind of irks me so let's move on to that portion of the video so this is the closet as compared to the suitcase and what you're going to do is simply compress this down and it's going to fit in here and then you're going to have these extra straps kind of hanging around. So this is how it fits into the luggage. And then we take the compression part, buckle it up and cinch it down. 
So the thing about this side that I don't really love is how much weird space is kind of left and you've got these hanging out. It's just kind of bunchy in some spots and to me a little bit more of a waste of space if you will. So this is how it fits in this side. It is coming up a little bit out of the suitcase. So I'm gonna close it right now and then we will pack the other one. Now this one does not have the compression which I actually really like because then I don't have to really deal with those straps. So what I can actually do is just simply place it in here and this is pretty much the dimensions of the side of the suitcase with the exception of a couple of inches and it compresses a lot easier and then I just like that it's just a normal shape. So you can see here that it probably takes up the same amount of space but you do have extra extra space here and extra space here and it's not really wonky. I could probably fit in some sandals or fit in an umbrella or a flat iron or something like that. The other one because it's so long when we bunch it together it's just kind of got a wonky shape so there's not really going to be a lot of items that you can pack in those empty spots because they're not normal shapes. It does still bulge out just a little bit and there was more room left in the closet. So now that I've packed these, let's weigh these with my luggage scale. Obviously, as you saw, I only packed the closets. So be aware of that when I give you guys this final weight, I only packed half of the bags. Bag with a fully packed closet versus bag with a fully packed closet. So let's take the original and it is weighing in at 16.52 pounds. Now let's take the light, 14.7 pounds. So this one indeed is two pounds lighter than this one, as we stated when we weighed them while empty. So what do you guys think? This one is the original, it has the latch luggage, it's a little bit heavier, but it does have the aluminum and metal features and a little bit of extra security. The closet is long and skinny as opposed to short and wide, and it did weigh a little bit more once packed. Or do you like the light version that has a traditional zipper? It is a little bit less money. It is two pounds lighter. And then it has a short and wide closet as opposed to the long skinny closet where it does seem like you can fit a little bit more. And in my opinion, it fits better in the luggage as opposed to the original closet. And if you have any questions, please put them down below and let me know and I'm happy to answer them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you want to travel often and pack well like I do. In the next few months, I am going to be hitting countries 98, 99, and 100. So stay tuned for the celebration and for a lot more amazing luggage reviews and hopefully even more from Soul Guard. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.